Over 10,000 people live in six high-rise apartment buildings in the Crescent Town complex, and their children attend Crescent Town Elementary School. I go to Crescent Town School, but next year I'm going to George Webster because I'm in grade four. Uh, we need transportation to go to George Webster, but George Webster is very, very far away, and uh, it's not really that fun to go to George Webster because it's very far. And that's why we need um, a bus to go to George Webster. The distance between Crescent Town Elementary School and George Webster is almost a mile. And next year, there may not be a bus service for grade 5 students. Like Crescent Town Elementary School, George Webster is a model school serving a large community. Since I've been here since kindergarten, everything has been very balanced in terms of kids in the school and teachers. But since lots of kids from Crescent Town have been coming over here, we had to build portables on the field, and the teachers and the kids are forced in the portables. And when they, there's no washrooms, they don't have any water there. When they want to go in the washroom in the winter, they have to put on their coats. We, I came from Crescent Town, and I didn't come here to like be in a portable. I came here to learn, and like not to like waste like time. When I'm in the portable, if I'm in the portable, I feel like I'm not a part of the school, and like it's like. Uh, the portable versus the whole school. The conditions are not really good in there because it's very small and it's very crowded and it, it's, a, it's a very small uh, place and you can't really get around. I don't want to go to the portal because they don't have very, they don't, they don't have um, water, they, they don't have um, easy bathroom access and when they leave in the winter to go to the washroom, um, they, they have to put on their coats and that takes away a bit of their learning time when they have when they have physical activities like gym and, and when they have library or music they have they have to go they, they have to go outside and walk to our school building and that takes away a bit of their time from playing or learning or having fun all classrooms inside the school building are large and bright they are much better than classrooms and portables when like I'm in the school, I feel like everyone's all the, all the teachers are watching me, and uh, it's it it like it feels more safe in the school uh, rather than in the portable. At lunch break, school students get together to present how portables will cover their playground. Just imagine how it will look when there will be 37 portables in our field. Like we have four portables now, and we're still like struggling to get to the washroom or go to the library, gym, uh, uh, music, media literacy, and so on. If we had 37 portables, that would be like chaotic. All our green space would be gone if we had like 37 portables. It's like, it's like almost taking up our whole baseball diamond. And since the other half of the field belongs to the city, we have to put our port. We can't put our portables there, so we had to put our portables near the basketball nets, and we have we have we would have to take them out. So that's why I strongly strongly believe we should have the new building instead of the port 37 portables. Oh, new building will help us the whole school by letting all these kids in the portables now move into the school. We'll get a we'll get an art lab. We'll get a science lab. We'll get a bigger gym. And if we don't get that building, all these portables will will um, go over all our playing space. Since half of like the field is owned by the city, they might have to put some portables on our concrete area where, where we play with balls, we play basketball. We won't have that space anymore. And they might have to take down the park to put some portables there. If we have a new school, we would all be all like, it would be really spacious and we wouldn't have to like be like bumping into each other all the time.